Okay, so now we're going to add an armature to him. So over here, I switched out to an outliner. And over in this view, I have it stuck into uh, solid. And I hit 1, 3, and 7. Now, remember to hold shift and middle mouse button to pan around this view. Okay, that's important because you want to stay locked in an orthographic view when dealing with bones. Let's add an armature to the scene. Okay, so what I do here is hold spacebar, add armature. Okay, and then let's move the armature over here where I can't see it until I hit x-ray. Okay, now I can see it. Also, make sure it's lined up in both views. So that looks pretty good for a root. And I want this root sticking out of the bones. That way I can grab it. I know it looks kind of funny in that area, but I want to be able to have something to grab right there and move them around. Okay, so now, before we do anything else, let's hit mirror axes and hit tab. Now, we are not going to be hitting E for extrude. We're going to be holding shift E. And immediately after you hit Shift E, right click. That way you get this arrow. And then you can move it out straight. Okay? Notice how balanced those are. Okay, so let's go into the side view. And let's practice that. Shift E, right click, then move and move. Good. I'm just getting that habit. Shift E, right click, move. Shift, middle mouse button. Shift E, right click. Do, 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 do. This is my little song. Do, do, do. All right, so there we go. Nice. Nice armature, and it's already mirrored for me. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, even in Maya terms, you can't beat that. Okay, so now let's uh, go back in here. Hold Shift. Go back up here. Right-click on this one. And again, this time it's E. So E, right-click, move it up. E, right click, move it up. Okay, side view. That's about where the shoulder is going to go, right about in that area. Okay, so now I'm going to just experiment around with right this area. I might have to redo this later on because I want to work this jaw to open and close. So I'm going to put a few extra bones in here just in case you know I, I can choose not to use them or choose to rig them a little differently. But best to have them there. Okay, shift D. Not shift E, just E for that one. E. Again, I'm going to put one here, and then one here. I could choose to rig that any way I want that way. Also, I'm going to put a couple here. Only because I might want to influence this hair to make it look dynamic. For this one, I would have to hit E, right click out, move it, and then put a fork here. Okay, again, that's only to make that hair kind of bounce up, give it that pert type of shine there. And now let's go into 
this view where I'm going to finish out this. I'm going to make the arm uh, basically a karate arm. You know, I mean, no fingers for right now, and I'll work on the fingers later because it's a really tedious thing kind of going in there and moving all this stuff around. So this time it's a shifty. Right click. Okay. And I might want to move all these down. So I hold shift, grab all of them, and move them all down at once, kind of like that. A little farther. Okay. I'm not using IK, so I'm not really worried about keeping these a straight line. There we go. Shift D. And Blender's a little different. I mean, you don't have to have a bone for everything, but I'm such a Maya head that, you know, I, I've gotten to the point where, you know, I like having extra bones in there. It's just easier to rig down the road. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in my top view. Probably way off. Yep. But this is where we start going like this. Moving those back. And see how much different this is from Maya. If you if you ever worked with Maya, all the bones would move in succession with each other. So we have to do a little bit of something different. It's called brush B on the keyboard. So B on the keyboard is box select, and then hold shift, and then you can box select both sides, and then you can move like this whole string back. Okay, and then you can box select these by hitting A to deselect them, and B to box select them once more. Or you can just not be lazy and just go in here and click three times. Okay, so this one is going to be there. There. There, and lastly, there. Okay, now for his tail. I'm going to cut the video off here because it's getting rather long. Another thing I like to point out, later on in Outliner, I'm going to be renaming these bones. But, you know, this is how you can do it. You can go in here and, you know, easily go into the bone, click on it, and then down here you can actually label it whatever bone that is. Okay, so that's why I like Outliner. You can quickly grab those and then rename them somewhere else. All right, into the next video.